up YouTube, NYKia31 here, hope everyone is well. Um, shifting gears a little bit here and talking some offense, talking pass offense. Um, someone sent me a message on PS3 asking me to do a uh, breakdown of a pro style um, offense, which is kind of hard for me because I don't really run a pro style offense, but I guess I, I, guess I can do that down the road. But really, you know, regardless of what kind of offense you are running, if you just know some core basics and um, fundamentals as far as reading coverages, recognizing defenses, and also, you know, knowing your playbook, you can you know, execute a lot of good things just by knowing a few simple, you know, basic reads and uh, route combinations. Um, this game here, I'm just... I'm just showing all of my pass plays for the game. You know, the things I talked about in practice mode in my last video on passing, about how to recognize um, zone and man, and how to attack different levels of the defense depending on what coverage they're in. I just thought I would you know, also show you guys that not only can it work in practice mode and against the computer, but you can take this you know, online, the things that you've labbed and that you've um, practiced, and you know, do your thing. Um, I'm going to eventually go into my playbook and how I do what I do in greater detail. You'll notice that when I'm in the flex zone, I'm doing an awful lot of hot routing, and there is, you know, a method to my madness. I'm not just hot routing just for the sake of hot routing and, you know, kicks and giggles. What I'm doing is I have a plan in my head as far as what kind of passing play I want to execute based on, you know, how I'm being played and, you know, what holes I see in the defense pre-snap, and I use some base plays out of the flex bone to create other run and shoot plays that are not in the flex bone set. I, I basically base out of um, go, choice, curl flats, verticals. Those are my you know core plays when I'm under center in the flex bone. And also in the pistol I use a fair share of go, choice, HY option, and you know other run and shoot and some air raid passing concepts as well, as well as the screen game. And I guess the first point I want to bring up when it comes to passing, and especially pocket passing, I'm a drop back you know, passer. I don't do a lot of rolling, I don't do a lot of scrambling. I like to have, you know, confidence in being able to read the defense, trust my blocking, and you know, let my receivers get open and do what I gotta do. The one good thing about running the uh, run and shoot and running a lot of option routes, as you get used to doing it, you really become a lot more patient because you're forced to. You know, you can't really guess or anticipate because if you do that, you know, you think you're getting a streak out of your receiver when he runs a curl or he runs a hitch when, he's, when you think he's going to be running an out, you're going to throw interceptions and turn the ball over. So, you know, running this offense has really, you know, helped me be patient and allow routes to develop. The first thing you want to do when you're getting ready to execute a pass play is the first thing you want to do is read the alignment of the safeties and read the front you're going against. You want to identify how the safeties are lined up, whether they're middle of the field open and too deep, or middle of the field closed in a you know, single high safety look or a cover three look where safety rolls to the box or rolls to the middle. Or if you see the safeties audible to in to squeeze the middle. That's the first thing you want to do, is that'll give you a, you know, plan to what to look for, you know, pre-snap. If you pre-snap, read too deep, middle of the field open, you want to read from the middle out. If you read the opposite, you want to read from the outside in. And go from there and attack levels and take, you know, what's there. You know, know who your primary, you know, receiver is for the play that you're calling. Who's your secondary and who is your, you know, safe check down. Always make sure you have a safe check down if possible. And 
you know, I can't stress enough to really, you know, know your playbook, know your passing plays, know how to execute a, you know, consistent core group of plays that you can run, regardless of whether you're facing cover two, cover three, man, zone blitz, man blitz. And as far as, you know, having pocket presence, you know, the one thing, the other thing you want to, to work on, you know, once you've made your pre-snap read, is see what's going on post-snap. You know, I rarely, you know, pay attention to the rush unless I'm forced to, and it's just obvious that I have to either step up or scramble or get rid of the football. But I'm trying as hard as possible to, you know, keep my eyes downfield, and instead of looking at the rush, you know, getting a feel for it. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. You know, you can kind of feel when bodies are around your quarterback, your controller will be rumbling, and you also have that little clock in your head saying, okay, I gotta get this ball out of here. You know, but I try as much as possible just to, just to kind of you know, feel my way around the pocket and, you know, take little slide steps either up or to the side. I very rarely want to, you know, go backwards or, you know, scramble out of there completely. Because what happens when you, you know, take those little subtle movements, you actually break free like of some sacks. Your QB down. will actually do some um, evading, and then you can, you know, open up and scramble into a, you know, wide open running lane if you have a scrambling quarterback, or it gives you a little bit more time to, you know, scan the field. You know, people have this knee-jerk reaction, especially in the online world, and just bolt out of the pocket and, you know, scramble and sprint to the sideline. But you actually do yourself more harm than good doing that, because if you're playing someone smart, you're going to roll right into a contained stunt or to a blitz. You'll find that you avoid trouble a lot more, you know, by trusting your pocket. And you can see by the way I'm playing here, you know, you can do that. Just a matter of practicing, and you know, I show you all my past plays in this game, both the you know good plays and mistakes, because I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, I make misreads, I make boneheaded throws like everybody else. But you know, I know enough of what I want to do that I feel like I can attack any style of play. And then it's just you know up to me to make the right reads. There, I mean, I would wait with a bad read. You see right there, I should have gone to the. Um, uh, guy in the flat, the check down, Second and that's going to happen. Sometimes you're going to, you know, make mistakes, or you're going to have bad games. But you know, the more that you are, you know, used to seeing the different kind of you know, defenses that people are going to throw at you, and the more you, you know, you practice and lab, the better you will be when you can um, actually. Like get on there with a live opponent and have to, you know, score. You know, because you're going to have to learn how to attack zones in this game to be successful. You're not going to be successful just by run, 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 and, you know, chuck the ball deep. That's not going to work. You know, it's going to work against some of these knuckleheads out there, but against people who are anticipating that, you're going to have to show that you can, you know, move the football and sustain drives. And you know, this particular game, I started out slow, and I gradually started to find my rhythm and get into it. And <laughs> this guy actually got under my skin, and I sent him a rather, you know, snippy message toward the end. He was using there's a glitch with the wide receiver on a particular play. I don't want to advertise it, lest you know the trolls out there. You know, go online and try it, but there's a glitch, and you'll see if it ever happens to you, where your corner will ignore the deep receiver in some coverage. It's usually it's three deep, and it's usually some form of um, deep passing play, where people will hot route a slot receiver deep, side by side by a you know outside receiver, and for some reason. The corner will get sucked to the middle of the field and leave the outside receiver open. And this guy hit me for, you know, two touchdowns off of that. And I thought that was kind of strange because I never see that happen. I never see, you know, this cover three, a guy just streaking down the sideline being ignored. 
So luckily I was able to figure out, if you play a guy that's doing that to you, what you have to do, you have to audible your zone coverage toward the sideline to keep that uh, corner at home. Otherwise, he's going to, um, you know, glitch out and leave that guy wide open. Um, what I'll do, actually, I'll post the video of the entire game so you guys can actually see what it looks like. It's very obvious. And I sent him a message once I shut that glitch down because after I did, you know, he, he pretty much stopped scoring and then eventually quit the game like a lot of these punks do. But, you know, that's it for, you know, passing for now. Uh, consider this a little sequel to my you know, other video about reading and recognizing his own coverage is just, you know, work on identifying the defense, you know, know who your primary targets are, practice, you know, moving up in the pocket, moving side to side, and, you know, just learn how to execute and attack these guys. You know, there's nothing quite like the feeling of when you you know, get out of the huddle and you have your play call and, you know, the guy's moving around and it doesn't phase you because you know exactly how you're going to attack him. You know, that's the level you want to get to. So, that is all I have for now. I'll post the rest of this game later on so you guys can see what I'm talking about, about the wide receiver glitch. Um, from what I hear, it's being patched, thankfully. And I also have some online dynasty games, user versus user online dynasty games that I finally, you know, have, you know, recorded and ready to, you know, upload. So I'll be taking a little bit of a break from, you know, the online ranked garbage and posting a user versus user online dynasty game pretty soon. So that's it for me for now, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace. He's at the 30. Brought down at the 19. Unbelievable pass. They don't care what down it is. That makes it first and 10. We're at play number nine of this current drive. First down. Sophomore out of the corner. He read the run and stepped up and made a nice tackle. From the 17 yard line, second down. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They'd look conversion.